Okay, so this is Guess My Cheese Part 2. We are given a, a list of cheeses that um, looks like this. It's an alphabetically organized list of cheeses. Um, and then we're given a program that's running on a server. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of like check that out real quick. Um, we connect saying, hey, um, we have, so, he was able to guess my cheese last time, here's my secret cheese, if you're squeezing you're able to guess it. So we need to guess the cheese, right? If you look at the hints, we're given that, okay, it's probably a SHA-256 hash, um, hint number two is important, remember, uh, we enjoy our cheese with exactly two nibbles of hex, a decimal character salt, right? So that's really important. So what we're going to do is create a rainbow table of all the different combinations of uh, hex two character salts. So um, we need to keep in mind that we need to prepend and, and upend every possible combination because we just don't know. Um, so let's look at this script here. We're going to read in our cheese list, and for every cheese, we're going to loop through every possible two-character combination of hex values, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to print. We're first going to start by appending the two-character combination to the um, cheese, and it's negative one to uh, get rid of the new line character. And then, yeah, print the hash next to it. So we're printing, we're printing the actual string, the actual name of the cheese, and the two-character combination at the end, and then the hash of that. And then we do the same thing for uh, prepending, um, because that's possibility too in getting the hash of that. And then we also have to keep in mind that for every Going from 0 to 255 um, of hex values, we need to also um, get hashes for the name of the cheese plus the hex value of um, the of the integer, whether where, whatever it is, 0 to 255, and print the hash of that. Um, okay. So, and then we do the same thing here. So that was that was appending, this is prepending, because that's a, that's a possibility too. Now there's also a chance that it's also gonna be case sensitive. Uh, capitalization matters, that's gonna be a different hex value. So we do that as well with lower and get those values too. And uh, yeah, so that's our rainbow table. Hopefully that makes sense. This, this challenge is not one of my favorites, it's a, it's a little confusing. But it's good practice uh, for, you know, um, cryptography and encryption and, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and actually run this, and we're going to save it to a file called table. Um, actually, I probably needed to delete this because I think I was appending um, multiple of them. Yeah, okay. So now, what we can do is, I'm going to actually cancel that, I'm going to reconnect, and I'm going to say, yes, I want to guess the cheese. And it gives us an encrypted, a SHA-256 string, we're going to cat our table, and we're going to grep for that string. Uh, this, ah, uh, hash, sorry. Okay, so we get two... Um, so it's obviously fromage fray, right? Um, and that's interesting because these, these are two different, um, yeah. In the salt, I'm gonna maybe say 68. Okay, so I got it. Right, so the salt was um, 
Yeah, so the salt was appended instead of prepended. Interesting. Um, so yeah, here's our flag. We're gonna copy that. Paste it in, submit the flag, and we got it. Um, so there you go. Hopefully that made sense. And uh, yeah.